everybody, and welcome back to The Poor Man's Chemist. In this video, we are going to be making ammonium iodate. Um, there was a subscriber that emailed me and suggested this compound, and I thought it would be fun to give it a try. Um, this person also emailed me several suggestions on ways to go about making this compound. It is really not all that difficult. Um, but true to my obstreperous nature, I had to go about it a different way. Um, just because I thought that it illustrated some principles of chemistry that I don't really know that I have it demonstrated, at least not in this way, on this channel before. So, um, you know. And, and this person apparently wrote the Wikipedia article on ammonium iodate, and now they have another laboratory synthesis of it that they can add to the page. <laughs> <laughs> um, ammonium iodate is pretty tame. It is not, you know, ammonium chlorate is spontaneously explosive. I'm not really sure what ammonium bromate is like, but oxo um, anions of iodine tend to be pretty stable and pretty tame. So even though it is an oxidizer, ammonium iodate is does not seem like it's one of those ones that you have to be terribly concerned about. Um, it does produce a lot of elemental iodine vapor when it decomposes. I mean, you wouldn't want to get a lung full of that if it was concentrated um, any more than you would want to get a lung full of bromine or chlorine vapor. Um, but again, I mean, this is pretty tame. I mean, I look at nitrogen triiodide as being kind of tame, and this is by way more tame than that, so I really don't know that it's going to be that big of a problem. Um, and before we get into it, just once again, um, I would like to ask, you know, if you're able to, if you can donate a few bucks via PayPal, that would be exceedingly helpful just to keep these videos coming. Um, I don't know. I felt a little bad about asking for that before, but I've since had people assure me that I am, you know, they're like, you're totally justified to ask people to donate a few bucks. I don't know, yeah, I just, I, I mean, I don't like being bombarded with that shit in every single video that I watch. I, I really hate being bombarded with, like, ads on every single fucking five minute video that I watch it has ads at the beginning, ads in the middle of it, ads at the end of it, or you know, uh, it's just ridiculous. So I try not to hit y'all with that, besides I couldn't monetize these videos anyway, and if you ever see any ads on this channel, that is YouTube adding them in, I get nothing from that, okay, I have no control over it. This channel has been unmonetized from day one, there shouldn't be any ads of any kind on this channel. Especially given YouTube's justification of not letting other channels be monetized. Well, you know, your content's too. You say fuck too much. Well, I fucking say fuck all the fucking time here. So I don't know why my channel is suddenly advertiser friendly to some of these things. I mean, I, I do everything short of porn to make sure that it isn't advertiser friendly. <laughs> so they can't do that. Besides, I don't think porn, if I was doing porn, that would go over very well. I want more people to subscribe. I don't want people to leave running, screaming, to go bleach their eyeballs out. <laughs> Unless you're into cripple porn, in which case I think you have some, some, might have some issues. Might have some issues there. Just say it. Just, no judgment. Just say it. <laughs> Anywho, I don't know how I got into cripple porn, but this intro is not getting deleted. <laughs> Okay, let's get into it. I shouldn't say anything else. Okay, so there's 7.83 grams of um, barium iodate in this flask here. It is, to the best of my knowledge, the monohydrate. Um, what I have here is 2.05 grams of ammonium sulfate. Um, I looked it up by the cast number, I think. I think it's the anhydrous salt. Anywho, um, the stoichiometry is based on this being the monohydrate of barium iodate. Um, even though barium iodate is not very soluble in water, it is many times more soluble than barium sulfate. So the idea behind how I'm setting this up is that 
the berry, uh, the ammonium sulfate will dissolve in the water. A small amount of barium iodate will also dissolve in the water. That will immediately react um, to precipitate out barium sulfate, which is something like, I think it's 142.97 times um, less soluble than barium iodate. And so, um, it will, the precipitation of barium sulfate will basically drive the reaction to completion or very close to it. Um, a tiny amount of barium iodate will be left in the end, but not a whole lot. So, here we go. And there's really not going to be any visual way we're going to be able to tell that this has worked. Focus, damn it. We are just kind of going to have to go with it. Um, I am going to dissolve this first, though. What I will do is I will heat this up for a little while and let it stir. Um, I do want to keep the temperature lower than boiling. Ammonium iodate is not especially soluble in water either, but it is vastly more soluble than either uh, barium sulfate or barium iodate. Especially in hot water. I think it boiling on... Um, 100 grams of water will dissolve like 14 grams of ammonium iodate. So here we go. This is the ammonium sulfate solution. And turn the heat on, rinse this out. going to let this go for a little while um, until the solution is good and hot and then I am going to filter off what is presumably barium sulfate and then we will evaporate down the filtrate and we will see what we get. Okay, everyone, so here is the final product that I got. I've dried it out. You can see it's just a nice white powder. Um, we, I could either test it just by heating it up, and if it gives off purple fumes, then we know that it worked. Or um, the person that suggested that I made this suggesting mixing it with dichromate and igniting it and seeing what happens. Um, I'll admit that does sound a bit more exciting, so we're going to try that. I really hope this person is not like trying to set me up to kill myself. If so, it's a pretty elaborate way of going about it. I, w I would have to—I have to admit—I'd I'd, I'd be having more than a little admiration for somebody that came up with a plan that elaborate. <laughs> no idea how wise an idea this is even if I knew it was pure ammonium iodate and I am still not 100% sure that that is actually the case. Okay. 
Okay. There we go. There's that. Well, that's absolutely a positive test. We got a nice cloud of iodine, but as I feared, it just wasn't enough to be self-sustaining. And I suspect very much it's because of the size of these dichromate particles. Let's try it again. I can smell the iodine. No, it's just not self-sustaining, at least not in a small pile like this. Maybe if you had a bigger pile, it would. But, I mean, hey, it's a positive test. It t confirms that the product is indeed ammonium iodate and not just ammonium sulfate that dissolved and was recrystallized out. So, cool. Well, that's pretty goddamn neat. So... If you liked that video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, well, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe, comment, share the video, donate a few bucks if you can. And until the next one, y'all, I will see you later. That's pretty goddamn cool.